when Elvis would leave the building, Morris Malpass sneaked his Motherwell side in the back door and lined up against the Jambos looking for the third league win in a row. No Stephen Presley for this one, suspended by the club and sent to the back of the classroom to think about what he said. No Paul Hartley either, also suspended after seeing red at Love Street last week. Craig Gordon accepted the captain's armband this time with Robbie Nielsen being on the bench. Morris Malpass was unable to call on striker Callum Elliott due to the fact he's at the club on loan from Hearts. Keith Lasley is out injured long term, but Ross McCormick was back on the bench. The SPL's 5,000th goal scorer, Scott McDonald, partnering Richie Foran up front. Your commentator is David McKinney. Neatly played now. Neil McCann. Two Motherwell players coming towards him. That's a good ball to Fisas. He'll shoot from there. 50th appearance for the club for Takis Fisas. He's opened the scoring for Hearts here. That was a lovely move that tore open the Motherwell defence. Neil McCann played him in. He took one look up to see where the goalkeeper was and drilled it to the far post. Hearts are ahead. Kauskas immediately closed down by Motherwell players. Clarkson back now for Martin Corrigan. Clarkson continued his run into the middle. Now the chance for Motherwell for the equaliser. Richie Foran's put the ball into the net. He's continued the scoring streak and he's put Motherwell back on level terms. It's his fourth in three games and a great move from Motherwell. The ball was played over the top for Clarkson. He beat the defender to the ball, got it across, and Richie Foran steaming in through the middle. Struck the ball past Craig Gordon. G didn't give the goalkeeper a chance. Motherwell back in level terms with a fine goal. Aguar with the free kick into the penalty area. It was flicked on by Tal. Couldn't get it goalwards. It just flashed across goal and for a moment. Danger for Motherwell. Now Hearts with a chance to break here. Jankowskis, a bit of space for him. He can drive forward, he can shoot from there. And there's power in the shots. Maybe not as much direction as he would have liked. Off target. But it was well worth an effort from where he was. And Cregan clears from Motherwell. And Hearts now. Chance to swarm forward. Here's Neil McCann. And the pass wasn't brilliant, it's going to be a free kick. And so, the Hearts free kick into the middle, oh, and that's into the net, and it looks as if that was an own goal. And the free kick came in, it was a good free kick by Bruno Aguar, plenty of pace in it. He got a touch into the net, nothing Colin Meldrum could do about that. It looks as if it came off a motherwell head there. Flashed past the goalkeeper. Hearts back ahead here. Aguar. Aguar once again. Good delivery here. Could cause problems for Motherwell. It was a good delivery. And maybe there should have been something at the end of that from Michelunas. Ghosting in at the far post. He does wonder. Would he managed to push himself forward towards the ball if something could have come for Hearts. Patterson flicks it on, and another flick on there. Won't come for David Clarkson. Kerr missed out. Aguar forward, and now the transfer for Valinska. This could wrap it up really for Hearts. This could make it three. Excellent finish. Third goal for Hearts. And Motherwell with a mountain to climb now. And once again, Bruno Aguar involved in it. It was his ball over the top. Valinska was away from the defence. As the goalkeeper came out, he just chipped it over him, as nice as you please. Third goal for Hearts in the motoring now. It's easy enough for them. You just wonder if there's more goals to come here at Tyne Castle, but that was wonderfully executed by Velicka. So the Motherwell corner. Oh, and that was close to an own goal. Defending unorthodox. Velicka, who's just scored Hearts third. Almost scoring at the other end. McCann's had the chance to get the ball across. Looks like Aguar. The touch. Almost good enough, but Aguar will get it on. That was a bad challenge. And uh, Jim Patterson didn't find himself in trouble here. It's going to be a yellow card. 
Well, certainly late on Michelinus. Aguilar might well be having a go here. What a free kick that one was. Absolutely unstoppable. Colin Meldrum with no chance there. Bruno Aguilar with the goal of the game so far. An absolutely thunderous free kick. And straight from the beginning, you knew exactly what he wanted to do with that one. Belichka forward, Jankowski gets the ball fell nicely for him. Reynolds closing him down. Neil McCann in a good sprint down the left side. Pisas, scorer of the first goal for Hearts this afternoon. Chipped in nicely, Belichka. Just couldn't get the power into the header. Slightly coming back on it. And Colin Meldrum. An easy pick up. And now come for Hearts once again. Pisas on the run. Chance perhaps to get the ball into the middle. And it is two, and it nearly came. It did come eventually, and it should have been a goal for Hearts in the end. Substitute Pospisil with the header. It was well saved by Meldrum, but the follow up that came from Neil McCann, it seemed all he had to do was put the ball into the net. And now the ball for Pospisil again, opening up at both sides. Oh, the goalkeeper came and went back in again, and it might still come here for Hart. Surely the chance now. Goalkeeper with a good save. Michelinus might have done better. Michelinus had all the time in the world, might well have gone on further. Decided to shoot, and the goalkeeper saved well. Four in. Deliberately and carefully in towards the six-yard box. Nobody there for Motherwell, and now the break for Hearts Jamie Mole, can he do it himself can Michelinus finish this one off oh, and the shot was always going to go wide, he went with his left foot you just feel that should have been goal number 5, 